Astronomers have discovered a giant moon 5,500 light years from the Earth. Where did scientists discover the new moon? How is it different from ours? What do experts say about possible life on a giant moon and what will this discovery bring us? You will find out the answers to these questions in this video. Thank you for your comments and subscription to the channel as you contribute to the development of science content. Wipe down your suits, get comfortable, we are off. Researchers reported sensational news. As it turned out, a unique celestial body was discovered near the planet which is several times larger than Jupiter. This discovery made it possible for scientists to confirm the fact that the existence of moons is possible even outside the Milky Way. However, the new celestial body has a number of differences from the traditional moons of which there are at least 180 units in our solar system. In our system, most of the moons have a rocky surface and are often covered by glaciers. As for the new exomoon, it not only has gigantic dimensions, but also a completely different surface. Scientists continue to explore the object, as it is of great interest to science. It was possible to detect an exomoon outside the Milky Way thanks to the work of the Hubble and Kepler telescopes. The discovered moon revolves around the planet Kepler 1708b reminiscent of Jupiter. At the center of the system is a star resembling the Sun. According to preliminary estimates, the Moon is a gaseous cosmic body, the dimensions of which are slightly smaller than Neptune. However, it has an unusually large size. The Moon has a mass 2.6 times that of the Earth and orbits the gas giant at an average distance of 1.6 astronomical units from its star. This leads scientists to think about the possible habitability of Kepler 1708bi, but this assumption needs to be tested. Over the past three decades, scientists have discovered more than 4,000 exoplanets, which show an amazing variety, from gas giants in very elongated orbits to compact coplanar systems from terrestrial planets. Given the abundance of natural satellites of planets in the solar system, it is reasonable to assume that exomoons are also widespread in our galaxy, but so far, these objects are extremely difficult targets to search for and are only candidates for them. Most often, exomoons are searched for in transit exoplanets, which periodically pass through the disks of their stars, with long-period gas giants considered to be the most interesting targets. 70 cold equilibrium temperatures are less than 300 Kelvin long period, where the orbital period is more than 400 days. Gas exogiants with radii greater than 2 Jupiter radii found by the Kepler Space Telescope using the transit method. As a result of the exomoon search programs, 70 cold equilibrium temperatures are less than 300 Kelvin long period, where the orbital period is more than 400 days gas exogiants with radii greater than 2 Jupiter radii found by the Kepler Space Telescope using the transit method. The scientists compared the light curves of the selected exoplanet's parent stars with modal light curves where the exoplanets might have satellites. In the end, the researchers identified only one interesting result, which can be interpreted as a candidate exomoon with a statistical significance of 4.8 sigma. Within 12 planetary radii of Kepler 1708b is its exomoon, which has a mass of 2.6 Earth masses. Scientists emphasize that they cannot find any reason to refute the status of Kepler 1708bi as a candidate for an exomoon, but call for a cautious interpretation of the results. In their opinion, further, more detailed observations are needed using the Hubble, James Webb or Plato Space Telescopes to confirm or refute the discovery. What do you think? Is life possible on the new moon? I'm sure you enjoyed this exciting journey. And now you can take off your helmets, subscribe to my channel and join the community using the links in the description of this video to keep abreast of events from the world of science and space. I hug everyone!